Ashley Pickle, Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here with Kirk Martin, the head coach of the, the of Colleyville Heritage. Coach, you walk out one and done, you're heading to state. How, how pleased were you with the way your guys that's, that's, played? That's the way you want to do it, you know. <laughs> now then, you know, the rest of the tournaments we can – you know, play some other kids and, and get everybody involved. Really proud of our kids, how hard they played today. And we had some injuries, had some guys had to go both ways and that kind of stuff. But really, just a good day, man. It was fun. No, nobody had a broken nose. Other than that, no real injury. So Well, good. good. We can we can handle a broken oh, yeah. nose. Oh, yeah. But obviously, so you're hired at right before COVID hits. Mm-hmm. Then just a, a crazy season to be out here in May with your guys at 7-on-7. Seven seven. How nice is it to be normal almost again? Man, it's so awesome, and that's what all of us want is some sense of normalcy, and the kids have, have really uh, bought into what we're selling, and, and they're, uh, they're competing really well. But today was great. You know, I love 7-on-7. Seven seven. Our kids, you know, enjoy it and get after it. You know, it's not tackle football, so you have to kind of keep it in perspective, but you get to come out here and compete, you know, and be around other humans, you know, so that, that's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, we, we had a good day, and, and it was a lot of fun. I'm always curious. When you're out here and you're watching these guys, do you take stuff from this and pinpoint, oh, we should work on that in, in fall camp or in spring camp, or is it more just about getting those kids the reps and being together? Well, you know, it, it's it's a lot of those things. The thing I I think it it gives you the best of is, you know, we're going to run our offense. Well, our quarterbacks are going to call it, you know. And so I've, I'm working two quarterbacks. They're rot- rotating every series. Our safety is going to call the defense, you know. So you're having some guys have to grow up. You're having some guys have to become leaders. And those are the things I think are, are invaluable that you really just can't teach. You know, we can tell them to be leaders in the weight room and be leaders, you know, at practice. But all – but this is a, a competitive setting versus another team, you know, and, and so it's fun to watch that and, and watch those kids grow uh, in that way. But uh, certainly there are things that I see that we need to fix and we need to talk about and tweak some things here and there and, and get better at our fundamentals. But, uh, you know, that's, you know, it's the first one. And, and heck, to, to go undefeated and, and and qualify already is, is a good day. Absolutely. And then, you're used to being on the sideline. Now you're sitting back here in the end zone. You got a wild bunch over there. How hard is it not to be able to sit there and really coach you these know, guys, man? It, it's it's real hard, you know, and and um, because you know that's who you are, you know, that you want you want to fix it immediately, and and you know we're gonna fuss at them whenever whenever you know there's chirping going on and and you know tell them to shut up and play and all that kind of stuff. That's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, man, it would be be something if 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 we could really coach so but i mean it, it's great that we don't because it forces those kids to coach each other and, and grow leaders so well i can tell you it's fun to watch over here on the sideline <laughs> but coach one more question for you obviously we've we've seen your dctf questionnaire that you sit in we know what to expect from the panthers but for for the fans at home what's your squad going to look like in 2021 well you know we, we were good last year we we you know made history at our school the first ever undefeated regular season and you know we bowed out in the third round by three points to to a really talented summit team that you know had didn't run on the ropes until didn't run blocked a punt and then and then the wheels fell off for them but but i can tell you this our our kids are going to compete and give you everything they got you know and and uh you know they're they're a disciplined bunch but yeah, we've got a little talent too, you know, and, and I'm excited about our kids and what 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 they're doing, and and I think our our offense fits who we've got, and uh, I know our defense does. They've been running it, you know, for a long time. With I, I got to inherit a really great defensive staff, and and those guys have been amazing, you know, uh, with these kids, and and so I think you can expect another, you know, fast-paced offense and a, and a really stingy defense that they really get after it, you know. And we we've got some playmakers. I mean, Hogan Watson, you know, is is one of the best, you know, unkept secrets in the country. I mean, he's he's really special. You know, he's been starting since a freshman year. Heck, Shabay, um, Isaac shabay has been starting since he was a freshman. You know, um, Mason Murdoch can really stretch the field. He can really run. You know, Leon Covington competed in the in the triple jump yesterday at State, so he's explosive. You know, defensively, you know, you've got Dylan McKinney that's you know got every offer in the country, and uh, you know you got some. Our linebacking core is is really, really good. Chris Knight, you know, I, I think he's a big time, you know, power five football player that nobody really knows about. So, um, you know, there's a bunch of guys and, you know, 
Um, Caden Richardson at defensive end is going to be special again this year. Um, you know, I know I'm forgetting some guys, but but I think we'll have another good football team and we'll be very competitive and, and hopefully we can, we can go even farther than we did last year. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. We'll see you down in College Station in June. Thanks a bunch. Maybe it'll be warm, huh? No kidding. <laughs>